Hey guys, so I've had something on my mind lately and it's kind of tough to talk about, but I use these videos now to entertain and to educate, sometimes just memorialize events in my life. And this is just what I wanted to put out in the world and share with you all. Two days ago in Xi'an, I was in a really bad way. That was the night when I was trying to fix my phone and the weather just sucked and I was alone. I am, uh, this is breaking me. I have cried twice today, good guttural sobbing. <laughs> It was just one of those days that I wanted to be over as soon as possible. When I got back to my hotel room, there was a Pizza Hut very close by. So I went in there just to like film something, maybe that was gonna be the video for the day. I ordered things that sounded funny off the menu. I got Western Waffle Crispers, which just ended up being waffle fries. Uh, Peking Duck Pizza, which ended up being really good. And then I, for a drink, I ordered hot corn juice. Hot corn juice. Just because that sounded like the biggest wild card of a drink that I could order. Uh, I drank it, it tasted exactly like creamed corn. Oh, yeah. I love creamed corn. I used to, God, how embarrassing. I used to go over to my grandma's house and she had cans of creamed corn. I don't know why, she always did, and I would love it. I would make her microwave an entire can of creamed corn and I would just down it. The three things that I remember always eating at my grandma's house were creamed corn, graham crackers with butter on them, and toast with apple butter. Those were the flavors in my childhood that were like, yes, I am at grandma's. And it was so weird, but drinking hot corn juice like lifted my spirits and just filled me with so much warmth. And it's just put my grandmother at the front of my memories over the last few days. So I'd like to take a few minutes and share a bit about her. Janice Hay was born December 10th, 1927. I remember it being 1927 because we got her a birthday card that showed all the things that happened the year that she was born and that is when the Ford Model A came out. 33 years and seven days later, she would give birth to her third of four children, my mother, who then 30 years later, minus two days, gave birth to me. There was always one week of birthdays in December that I got to be right in the middle of. My grandma's was on the 10th, I'm on the 15th, and my mom is on the 17th. My grandmother was a homemaker. She raised her four children in Ohio, and once we were all born, she moved out to Phoenix to be closer to us. And for many years, she was the one that was home waiting for us when we got home from school. She loved crosswords, wolves, birds, and baseball. She was a hardcore Arizona Diamondbacks fan. In 1999, when they won the World Series against the Yankees, she was so nervous that she couldn't even watch the end of the game and went outside for a cigarette instead. She loved her children and her grandchildren very much. And the one thing that I will always remember about her is every time she said, I love you, she accentuated the you that made it feel almost like she was saying, no, I love you. And it just felt important. In November, I think it was five, maybe six years ago, I was legally married at the time and we were planning on having a large Catholic wedding March of the following year. In the two years that my wife and I were married and planning to go through the big sacramental Catholic marriage, our relationship fell apart. In case you couldn't tell, I don't know that I meant to be in one place for very long. I remember distinctly one night sitting down with my family and my ex-wife and saying that I had fully decided to go through with the divorce and cancel the wedding. Six hours later, my grandmother had a massive stroke or, or hemorrhage or, or whatever, and she was gone. That was one of the toughest days of my life. That was a really tough December. I don't like to remember that day. But the good parts I do think about all the time. And somehow, sitting in Xi'an, China, drinking a glass of hot corn juice, brought back the warmth and love and memories of my grandmother. I try to love as freely and openly and honestly as she did. And there are a million things that I would love to talk with her about. <sighs> that I would love to talk with her about. <sighs> and there are a million things that I would love to sit down and talk with her about. But instead, I will just share with you my memories of her. We don't have three people celebrating birthdays in one week anymore, but in five days, on December 10th, or now, or le every day leading up to it, tell someone you love them, and make it important. I love you. I'll never forget that, and I miss that. I'm Richie Sahoy with Unguided Nations, and I will see you tomorrow on another adventure. Thank you.